continue the story from where you left off. Nothing's wrong with you? I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are... Uh, anyway, let's, let's have a drink. <laughs> Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? This one? Mr. Justin would say the same thing. Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? I see. Mr. Archie died this morning. Mr. Morgan died this morning. What? It's two days until the time of freedom. You got a mail. another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Seriously? Yeah, but I hear it happens all the time. She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who is the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Marriage is two people becoming one. It's the truth. To bear another person's life is very difficult and very frightening. You got a mail. <laughs> Shit! Can't look at the need to 
check this out somewhere where no one... Hey, do you know where Daniel is? I can't reach him. What? Really? Do you text message and call your girlfriend every day? Sure. Daniel's like that too. He's pretty serious when it comes to that stuff. But for some reason I can't contact him today. And he's not in the place he said he'd be. Uh, he said that he'd been having nightmares lately. He's done for, isn't he? All of the men who talked about nightmares are dead. all his life and then for it all to end like this it's so sad come on he's gonna be okay believe in him Catherine, what is it? I'm sorry about this afternoon. I was rambling. Hey, are you really okay? Is something wrong? Don't worry about protecting my feelings. I I'm fine, really. Thanks for asking about me. If something's happening, tell me. We're not strangers anymore. I'm carrying our child. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Then I forgive you. Seriously. I'm sorry. Good night. We will continue the story of the mysterious series of deaths. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. What a grisly story. <sighs> Archie Wallace, age 28. Archie? <sighs> oh my. These deaths are hitting... Morgan Cortez. Morgan? Did you just say Morgan? That's the officer who used to Kevin Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current... We'll be moving on to the news after a brief update on the weather in Area 15. The eldest son of the Barreal family just purchased 500 circuit boards and casings for a popular video game. I'll be right back. Honey looks pretty bad. He always hides his problems from us, huh? But Chief's so cool. When one of his guys messes up, he sticks with him till the end. And that's his problem. He needs to take it easy. Man, if I was a girl, I'd be all over Chief. Tell him that when he comes back. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Check the high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. What, really? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Chief really looks tired today. Kind of worried. So Ren's safe then? I guess there's nothing more to worry about. Yeah. You've still got a mess to deal with. What you gonna do about that girl you're cheating with? She's still in the dark, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent! I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna... propose to her. I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah, thanks. Oh, 
It's her. Oh, sorry. But, well, whatever. Just so tired. Why do you get so tired? Just because you had a bad dream. You never wake up with sore muscles from stuff you do in dreams, right? Man, I so want to punch you. Oh, the liquor's really hitting me today. You got a mail. Seems the amnesia's gone. All those missing memories came flooding back when Rin left the apartment. I wonder how Rin's doing. Rin seemed okay on the phone, so cheer up, guys. All this nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe it. Dreams are just weird. But have you seen the news? One of the victims was a regular here. He was a good man. If this stuff keeps happening... Anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay. Rin was pretty mysterious, huh? Acting all naive, but then busting out the most profound things. It's like there was some unspoken potential that no one else had. I hope everything's okay back home, whatever that is. I'm sure it's fine. How else would Rin have turned out to be such a great person? It's a little lonely, but we'll meet again. And when that happens, I'll be there with a smile. thoughts and calm down. I'll follow up with Rin. You just make sure you settle this. Yeah, I will. All right, see ya. The road to the cathedral starts here. Your mental powers will be truly tested here. Think hard while you challenge these areas. Now what? I can't wait to see what they're coming up now. Budge! 
Undo. 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 